For example, let's take a look at the word obliterated that we saw earlier. In that context, the meaning was that the runner obliterated the world record. And this means that she beat the record so that it no longer existed. She obliterated the record. Obliterated means beat. But how do people use this word? We really need to see examples if we're going to understand how people use the word obliterated. It's used in lots of different contexts besides obliterating the world record. In the illustration, we see a number of examples of sentences or parts of sentences where the word obliterated has been used. The first one says, the lecture model will be obliterated in academic circles. And the second one says, the camp's complicated social hierarchy was obliterated. They were waiting to descend the now obliterated ladder, is the third one. Another says, by doing this, the Greenpeace Nicks damaged or obliterated marks and drawings on the ground. There are lots and lots of contexts in which things are obliterated, and they don't always mean beat. Those examples of the word obliterated in many different sentences came from the Corpus of Contemporary American English, or COCA as we call it. We are going to use this corpus more in this course and learn more about it. We'll also talk about how students can use this resource to get examples for themselves. This is a large collection of American English texts that are used for linguistic research. Because it is available on the internet, you can use it. Other teachers can use it, and so can your students.